What's up, good people? So today we're gonna be talking about how I um, basically snagged, landed, mm, I guess you can call it any of that, but how I received my running brand ambassadorships um, and what all that entails. So come on along. Welcome to Miles from India. For the new people that are here to my channel, I am India. And for my returning viewers, what's up and welcome back. So I have been getting so many messages and more particularly earlier in the year, I received messages on how I became an ambassador because I'm ambassador for six different companies and one, one company that I am actually a brace, basically a part of their team. So some of you may ask, what exactly is an ambassador? So an ambassador basically is someone that represents a brand or a company and you promote their product and there basically is a give or take between you and that company or that brand. Um, so basically you are in a representative of that brand and whatever they sell or provide. So of course, when it comes to being an ambassador, each individual company that you are an ambassador for has several, several different requirements or expectations for you as an individual and an ambassador for their brand. So a lot of times when it comes to being an ambassador, of course, they want you to really promote on social media. When racing was going on, because as of today, we know that racing is not is definitely not happening on a large scale because of COVID-19. However, when racing is going on, a lot of times the brands and companies want you to be able to communicate about their products, their brands, their races, if you're an ambassador for a particular race, as well as if you are ambassador like myself, for groups or companies. I am a best for Atlanta Track Club. They want you to promote their events as well. Now, sometimes these the event promotions means they want you to go to the actual expos, be at the actual um, events that they are promoting and be a volunteer at their events. Some companies and brands also require you to, to actually volunteer and do community service activities, post a certain amount of times on social media. Um, and it just kind of varies from company to company. And it is very important if the companies provide you a contract that you fully review the contract to ensure that you know what, it, what expectation you have out of the partnership between you and that brand. For me, a lot of the brands that I am an ambassador for did provide a contract and I wanted to make sure that I read everything to ensure that I am kind of holding up my end of the bargain of what um, we're doing, but you want to ensure that you do that. So within this episode, I want to ensure that I can tell you how I became an ambassador, the, go over the ambassadorships that I currently have, as well as just give you a couple things that I did to get the ambassadorships. Now, I can't guarantee that everything that I did will, will make it work out for you, um, but you know, just to kind of let you know maybe where to start because we all know everyone, we have to do our own research as well as year for year, each individual ambassador and, and brand, excuse me, each individual brand may be different in regards to their requirements, how they receive their ambassador individuals, all of that. So just do your research as well. So let's just start out as to why I became an ambassador. So of course, when it comes to ambassadorships, there is a lot of things that you can get out of it, but it just depends on you as a person, what you can receive, not really what you can receive, but what you choose to get out of ambassadorship um, partnerships and connections. So for me in 2019, I knew that I wanted to give back to the community. I wanted to be able to connect with different people in the community. And I felt like I was kind of honed in into this little small little area. And only because I'm born and raised in Atlanta. So majority of the people that I know in, is in that are within running or in the Atlanta running community. Now, of course, I do travel to do races and I do know people in other states. But of course, the main people that I know are in Atlanta. So something that I thought about, I said, well, what am I going to do? to branch out to connect with other people and what am I going to do to ensure that my circle is not does not look the same as I do as well as being able to branch out to get more connections valuable people and like really connect with some people that are doing amazing things and something that I also thought about I was like you know what I spend hundreds of dollars a year 
if not more, on product that I absolutely love and that I use on a consistent basis, why not connect with individuals that also have a love for that same product and that brand and also represent these brands that have been keeping me on this running journey for so long? And it's, it's like, well, how can I do all of those things as well as continue to enjoy and also get something out of it for me? And of course, for me, that was to become an ambassador. Also, as a podcast host and of the Run Duo podcast, if you haven't checked this out, go do it. So also as a podcast host and a vlogger, I said, what is another way I can, 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 I can connect with people as well as connect with these brands that I'm using to get more education, more understanding and background towards these brands that I'm using than to become an ambassador for them. Majority of the products that I use, I have well, I've done extensive research on um, and, and why not kind of represent them? Now, of course, some people may ask, and some people's first response a lot of times is, for becoming an ambassador is money, money, money. I want a discount, discount, discount. Now, for me, of course, having a discount and obtaining a discount is a plus because what did I say a couple seconds ago? I spent hundreds, if not more, of dollars with these brands. So if I can get a discount, then obviously that's great, but that was not my number one reason. I really wanted to be able to give back um, to the community in general. So volunteering is was something that is just in my heart. I love to do, whether that be volunteering for the homeless, whatever it is, giving back to the community is something that I love to do. And as an ambassador, you are able to give have opportunities to do so. And then of course, some of them are requirements, but it's still volunteering because we're not getting monetary money back. And y'all, ignore the nails. I need to get my nails done. It's been a couple weeks. I went to the nail shop once since Corona and I've been kind of chipping away. So excuse me, I wasn't able to get them done again before I recorded this video. And lastly, one of my biggest reasons is that I wanted to diversify some of the ambassadorship programs. For me, a lot of times when I did the research on some of these programs, I found that either my friends that look like me were not a part of the, um, we're not a part of ambassadorship programs. And I didn't know if that was because we weren't putting ourselves out there or if these companies were not like kind of really open to receiving people from different backgrounds. I wasn't sure, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna try because these are products that I love. And it just basically seems like every ambassadorship, not seems like it is, every ambassadorship that I applied for, I did get in. Now, before I get into the ambassadorships that I have, I also want to make sure that you all understand Please, please, please do not get into these ambassadorships only for the discount because honestly, it's not really worth it. Like you're promoting for them for free kind of because they're giving you a discount. However, like you're still bringing in money for them. So if that's your only reason for becoming an ambassador, you might want to rethink the process. Let's get, go through some of my ambassadorships. So let's start with Honey Stinger. All right, so Honey Stinger, Honey Stinger. So I absolutely love Honey Stinger. This is Honey Stinger here. And this is one of their value packs. But a lot of times when you all see this product, it can't, you all see this here. So these are their actual Stinger vanilla waffles. So I love the vanilla waffles. And then I also like the lemon waffles. So these waffles are amazing. I usually eat these eat these before or after a workout because they have they have 150 calories um, as well as 21 grams of carbs. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a really good product. So I eat them before run, especially if I'm doing a 5K run, a 10K, something that I don't feel like I need like a full breakfast like oatmeal or my peanut butter on a bagel and crackers, which is what I usually eat. Um, but this is just something that I can just put on my stomach, be ready to go, and it's not anything heavy, but it's giving me carbs, it's giving me the sugar that I need for the energy, and it's giving me something to put on my stomach. Now, Honey Stinger also has um, other products. So Honey Stinger also has these, um, these graham cracker waffles, they have gels, they have chews that I also use. Um, and I love those products as well, but I really stick with these waffles. These are like my go-to whenever I just need to pick up a snack. Even if I'm not running or working out and I just want something sweet or a snack, I'll pick up one of those waffles. So of course, that's one of my main reasons why I chose Honey Stinger because listen, I have, y'all see this? Packs of these things all the time just around the house. So it's one of those things where you gotta keep stocked up. 
So the next company that I'm in ambassadorship is Balega. Lord. I really got to do better with uh, preparing this stuff. I got dog hair. My sweet Coco. My sweet Coco. Or Braxton's sweet Coco. Her dog is all. His dog is all in my. With, with all, dog hair all in sock is what I was trying to say. But anyway. So I absolutely love Belega. If you check out my last video where I talked about the. Um, the essential items that I take on my short runs. Belega is one of them. I wear Belega socks for ever on all the time, even when I'm not running and working out. Usually I have on a pair of Belega socks because they are so comfortable. So Belega is a company that is based in South Africa and they do have a new production here, but they were initially handmade products in South Africa. Like how many people really knew that Belega was a South African brand? Like they are super awesome. Now there was only a handful of ambassadors from the state of Georgia. When we had our first meeting as ambassadors, they definitely talked about how many ambassadors were for, for each area. Something that I would think about, I would tell you guys to think about is when they are picking ambassadors, I'm pretty sure that they pick regions that they have population or need more population for potentially could be an option i'm not sure on that but i thought that it was interesting that when we had our first ambassador meeting they gave us the demographics um, of where all of their ambassadors reside so something that i really enjoy about belega is that they do something called activation ideas on a consistent basis um, and those ideas basically are they like us as ambassadors to figure out if there is an organization or a company or a business or people in the community that need assistance to where they can do like a giveaway. Um, and it won't be them giving hundreds and hundreds of socks, but if there is some kind of initiative that they can give back to, they will definitely do it. They like us as ambassadors to basically man those initiatives. And of course, with COVID-19 right now, a lot of those initiatives are not happening um, as much as they would be before. But the fact that they have that kind of as an expectation is, I think, awesome. I want to be able to work with companies that are actually doing those type things like that are actually giving back to the community and not just taking, taking, taking people's dollars. All right, so the next company that I am actually, they don't consider their, they don't call their ambassadors ambassadors. I am a part of the runner team. So that is runner. Let me turn this mug around. Um, so I've talked about this hat and this company as well. This company is um, based out of Atlanta. However, you can get their products anywhere on social media. Kate Arsenal and, um, is the founder of this, this company. They are apparel company and brands. Um, they, I always focus on their hats, but they do have shirts as well. Um, but And also they're gonna be coming out with bottles and things of that nature. So definitely look out for different apparel things for them. But something that I love is Kate Arsenal is the founder, like I said, and her husband been Justin and Kate used to be a special education teacher and she also was a cross-country coach and she saw that when it came to running there were there are not a lot of funds within cross-country or track um, organizations and programs therefore a proceed of all of your purchases goes towards um, activities and activations and different things that are within the Atlanta or Georgia area to be able to help kids to get educated more on running as well as be a part of these running programs. And we all know if kids aren't exposed to running, they won't start running. So at the end of the day, we have to start them young. And the more that we can give back to the kids, the more that they can grow up and be amazing runners like us. What's up guys? Just out here this morning cheering on a race out here with runner of course the runner crew we got morris over there He's ringing his, his cowbell <laughs> so definitely go over and get you a runner hat be cool like me and get you a runner hat and also obviously allow the proceeds or not allow but the proceeds some of the proceeds will go towards um a great cause Mm. All right, so I am the next ambassador that I am for is Noon. Y'all, I love, love, love this product. So this is Noon. And y'all, please, it's Noon. It's not none. It is Noon, like Noon as far as the time of the day. I get a lot of people that pronounce it wrong, but that's okay. Um, so I am an ambassador for Noon, and I am super excited about it. As you can see, I stay stocked. This is my little, my little Noon bucket. I keep all of my stuff in here. I absolutely love this. So these tabs, so when you, let me pull one of these out for you guys. So in these containers, and this one actually hasn't even been opened. This is the Vi Vitamin Strawberry Melon. Yep, Strawberry Melon. 
So I absolutely love this. Um, but these are, they're actually tablets. And you dissolve these tablets in 16 ounces of water. I'm dropping stuff, y'all. So you drop these tablets in 16 ounces of water and it it just fizzes up and dissolves. And something that I love about Noon is that they actually have a like a fizzy taste to them so a carbonated not fizzy lot a carbonated taste to them different forms of noon and i'll talk about a couple of these so of course you have the sport so these are for your electrolyte so a lot of people don't like to do your powerade or your gatorade the electrolyte one is something that you can just drop in your water and gives you excuse me the sport one is for exercise and so that you can get your electrolytes in your system the thing about this is it helps with electrolytes and it gives you just kind of a little bit extra so you can either put this in your water on your runs i know for me i don't particularly like it during my runs but i love it before or after runs and it tastes really really good and lastly this is my baby y'all so this is the rest with noon and this is lemon chamomile and they also have it in blackberry vanilla. Blackberry vanilla. So this product here, I absolutely love. So um, I'm a very light sleeper, and sometimes I don't get rest if I'm if I'm really really tired or if I'm stressed or whatever. Sometimes my sleep gets broken, but this is basically like tele taking melatonin, and it tastes really good. And I like it to be heated, so I heat it like a tea and drink this thing up. Mm, you feel super super awesome. All right, and lastly, the beloved Atlanta Track Club. Boop, boop, boop. Atlanta Track Club. Y'all, I think I got the most wrinkled shirt I've ever to show y'all for this. But anyway, Atlanta Track Club. So I am an ambassador for Atlanta Track Club, and I am super excited about them. They are the ambassadorship that I just close, I keep very close to my heart. It has just been an amazing opportunity for them and I just really, really adore them. Like, so of course when it comes to Atlanta Track Club, I have had so many doors open for me since being an ambassador with them. Um, just to name a few, earlier this year I was able to do the judging for the finalists for the Atlanta, uh, for the AJC Peachtree Road Race t-shirt. So every year there is a t-shirt contest amongst people in the community. And I was one of the judges that basically broke it down from hundreds to 10 to the five finalists that were supposed to be there. I don't know what the t-shirt is, but I was very happy to be able to be a part of kind of the choosing and selection process for the Atlanta Track Club AJC Peachtree Road Race that um, is this year to be taking place in November on Thanksgiving Day. Something else that I was able to do is that I had an amazing photo shoot with the Beltline and Atlanta Track Club. They, are having a, they have a partnership with each other um, to where they do a run, walk, go series on every Thursday where they basically do group runs. Now, of course, those are on hold right now because of the coronavirus. However, at that time, they were definitely doing that. Um, but I had an amazing photo shoot. Here's a couple pictures from the shoot. I really enjoyed myself and of course, not only these, but I was able to volunteer um, in a, a very good capacity for the 2020 Marathon Olympic Trials. That was amazing and I had a really good time doing that and just being able to connect and do awesome things. Now, the most recent thing that I did that I absolutely love is that I was able to interview two individuals, Kenny Boone and Shannon, Shannon Booker, um, as an Atlanta Track Club ambassador. I was able to interview them and we had a spread in the Wingfoot magazine for Atlanta Track Club. So I just really appreciate it. Atlanta Track Club has opened so many doors for me. I really appreciate them and I love them as an organization and a company. All right, so what I will say is that, that those are all of my ambassadorships. I'm very excited about them. Each individual ambassadorship has a different thing that they expect from you. Now, Atlanta Track Club is my most engaged and more involved ambassadorship. So there's the expectation of volunteering at particular race and expos when those are going on. Um, we do, they do ask us to post different events and programs that are happening. We also, like I said, they had a partnership with the Beltline, so participating in a monthly group run and leading those group run is something that they like us to do, as well as, of course, encouraging people to sign up as a Atlanta Track Club member. So every ambassadorship is going to be different, but that Atlanta Track Club ambassadorship is the most, most ambassadorship that causes more time for me to give as well as participate in, which is fine because I absolutely adore them and it's a good time. All right, so of course, everybody's been waiting on how do you get these ambassadorships. 
So I will say this first, and I wanted to really um, launch this video because it is it is coming up on, um, we're in the middle of July 2020, getting into August. But I wanted to kind of let you guys know that a, I literally stalk these people's Instagram and social media pages. Um, a lot of times when it comes to the ambassadorships, they are asking for the ambassadors. Um, usually in the fall season, they are asking for ambassadorships. So some of the ambassadorships, I actually applied for in August and September, and then I didn't become an ambassador of the previous year, so in 2019, and I didn't become an ambassador until 2020. Um, I found out either at the end of the year or the beginning of the following year if I was chosen. So basically what happens is that the ambassadorship programs actually post on their social media or on their website. Not every single one posts on social media, but they post also on their website that they are looking for ambassadors. You have to pay attention to their social media page. I can't stress that anymore. Their social media page and their website. So stalking their social media page, their website. Obviously you want to be following them. You want to be using their product not just wanting to be an ambassador to get free stuff, you want to be using their product. So hopefully if you use their product, you're already following them, you're already engaged with them, and you're probably also on their website. So what a lot of the brands will do is that they will send you some kind of questionnaire or some kind of form to fill out to explain what's going on with you and tell us about you. Now, when it comes to each ambassadorship, it always is something different. So for example, with the Atlanta Track Club, I actually had to submit a video Yes, I actually submitted them a video. The majority of the time, they will put up their, um, in their, uh, we are looking for ambassadors. If you would like to be an ambassador for the following year, they will post that. Now, if you miss that time window, there's nothing you can do about it. Now, there are some ambassadorships that will welcome ambassadors in the middle of the year, and that's just basically going on their website and seeing if their ambassadorships are posted. However, majority of, not majority, all of the ones that I listed here, it was a fall, someone they posted it on their social media or on their website that they were looking for ambassadors and I was able to complete it within a time frame and then I was notified via email if I um, was accepted. The time a lot of the questions that they're asking are tell us about yourself why would you want to be an ambassador for our program or for our brand what are the products that you like what do you use with us how would you promote them please tell us about your social media handles because look they will look at your social media handles Trust and believe they don't want someone out here twerking and cussing people out on their social media and being in brand ambassadors. So be cognizant of what y'all posting on y'all social media because they definitely look at that. They want you to be a good, positive rep rep representation of them and their brand. So ensure that you are doing that. Now they do ask about, a lot of the brands ask about your following. I get a lot of people asking me, do you have to have thousands of followers? I don't think that you have to have thousands. I've seen people with 200, I've seen people with 2,000. For me, I'm a little over 2,000, but that I don't think that necessarily matters to them, but I'm also not on a panel that chooses the ambassador, people that are ambassadors. Now, honestly, the biggest thing that I would tell you about the process of getting in is to be yourself. Be yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you can't be yourself, then you're not gonna be able to produce what they think that you're gonna produce for them for the rest of the year. So at the end of the day, be yourself. I know for me, I don't think that it was anything definitely special that I did. I was myself, bubbly personality. I explained to them um, how I can promote their products and of course explain to them as to why I wanna be an ambassador. I can't give you those reasons and the great way to say it, um, but I think that that's something that you really wanna think about and give a really hard thought as to how you respond. Now, I'm not sure how these brands are gonna do the following year or the years after me or if I decide to continue to do um, some of the brands that I'm ambassador for now, some of them I may not continue with, but I think that it's important for you to know that my experience may not be exactly how yours is, but I would say, honestly, be yourself. Be with companies that you actually like, products that you actually use. It's not worth getting a part of a, being a part of a company that you don't use their products and then you're, when you're, someone asks you about the product, you can't explain it or you can't talk to you about it. Like you're really wasting another spot for someone that would really like to be an ambassador and that would be an awesome ambassador for the company. All right, lastly, how do you renew? So there are some of the ambassadorship companies um, are automatic renewals. So some of them, once you're in, you're in. And then some of them, you have to go through the same um, ambassadorship process that you did the previous year. So definitely check that out. Um, every company is different. Again, read your contract, know the rules between your ambassadorship programs. 
Um, some ambassadorships don't allow you to have multiple years. So I know like Atlanta Track Club, it is at a two year max um, before, not before you reapply, but two year max, you have to apply every year, but it's a two year maximum. You have to take a year off and then reapply if you want to do it again. But every ambassadorship is different. So definitely look into that. Look at all the fine print, look at the contract and just make sure you know what you're signing up for. It is an amazing thing and it feels really, really good to be an ambassador and I love it for all of the companies that I'm a part of. Um, but you also want to look at the background of the company. I know for me this year was very telling, um, especially during the Black Lives Matter movement. I was really all up in these companies' faces and all up on their page to really see how they reacted to the Black Lives Matter movement and just all of the protests and everything that's going on. And I, Honestly, if some of the companies did not align with kind of how I feel about it, um, I, I am removing myself, you know, the following year. And it's just something that I want to do for me or I may not be promoting the brand just because of that. So I think that it's important for you to understand that this is something that you're connecting your name to and you want to ensure that you're behind a company that you really value and that your morals align. Okay. So I really hope that this was a helpful video for you all to um, become an ambassador. I hope that some of y'all can become ambassadors. Let me know how it went. Um, let me know if there's any questions or anything that you have. You can drop it below. So don't forget, I'm a podcast host of the Run Duo Podcast. Definitely check us out. We post bi-weekly podcasts. Um, and we talk all things running, but we also interview individuals and runners and people that are doing amazing things in the community. So definitely check out the Run Do Well podcast. I will post the link below so that you can check us out there. And then for me here on Miles from India, you can check me out every single Tuesday. I post a new video every Tuesday. So thank you so much for coming over. Go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, share, and I will check you guys out next week.